Okay, Carly. Oh, I'm turning on. <laughs> There's Carly's butt. Okay, everybody. Carly very nicely agreed to do one uh, set of her routine today for you guys to see um, as some motivation for a workout uh, for the free challenge. Yeah. So, uh, Carly's going to do a lower body wad. It's going to be for time, which means she's going to go through this circuit once for you, but as many times as she can for herself. Yeah. Um, and see how she does. So there's going to be an incorporation of uh, lower body movements with some weight and then cardio in between. She's going to do one, two, three, four, five, six separate exercises. In between four of those, she's going to do a minute of high knees to keep her cardio up. 20 reps of each exercise except uh, calf box jumps, which you do at the end. Yep. You ready? Would you do 10 each? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start. I can't turn around because I think I'm using my phone. We're going to start with dumbbell pull throughs. She knows what she's doing. I'm just going to tell you uh, how to check your form. Okay. So go ahead. Carly's got a 25 pound dumbbell. She's going to do 20 reps. Wide sumo stance. Toes pointed out. She's going to go through her knees and squeeze at the top. She's the full extension of the glutes. That's two, squeezing at the top. Three, four, five. She's got a big squeeze here. Seven, activating all the muscles. Eight, nine, 10. So that's working your inner thighs, your glutes, a little bit of your quads. That's 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, 20. Here's where you drop your weight and you do one minute of high knees and low music. Okay. Very boring. All in with you. Add a piece of chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> by B-Force. Uh, they have a good package actually if you're looking to buy them. I don't get discounts with them. She's gonna be done in 20 seconds. Then she's gonna go to banded kickbacks, single leg in 10 seconds.
these don't work for you, you can kick your butt. If that doesn't work for you, you can do squat jumps. If that doesn't work for you, you can do jumping jacks. You've got 10 seconds.
heart rate's going to be elevated the whole time. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18, 19, one more, 20. My name's the last one in this circuit. So the important thing to know here is that she did warm up on the spin bike for five to eight minutes before we started. Make sure you do a warm up, even if you just jump rope or do some jumping jacks or something. Make sure that uh, you've done a warm up before you start with the done without anything. Um, today Carly's going to use that 25 pound dumbbell that she's been using for her dumbbell pull throughs at the beginning uh, to do that one. Uh, 15 seconds left. Some people find that it's uncomfortable on their pelvis um, so you can either hold the dumbbell like so or like so. Three, two, one. What do you prefer for holding the dumbbell? Like which way are you? Like on your, yeah. So she's gonna have her feet hip distance. She should be able to, um, if she put her hands down along the floor, be maybe a couple of inches, maybe more, about eight or ten inches away from dusting the back of her heels. When she comes up into that bridge position for her hip thrust. You're going to try to aim for a 90 degree angle, or at least to make sure that your knees are not going over your toes. That's one. Two. She's having a squeeze at the top just for an extra hold. How many is that? Five? Yeah. Six. She's going for 20. Seven. Eight. Glute activation. Nine. She's making sure she's squeezing at every part of the movement. Time under tension so she's not dropping her butt onto the floor or quitting. She's controlling that movement all the way up and all the way down. She's squeezing hard up and then lowering down with control. Let me go. So this was 16. <laughs> she's counting from the top. 19. Last one. That's 20. So instead of having a minute of my knees, we're going to do calf box jumps. That's going to keep our cardio going, but it's also going to work our calf muscles. She's going to do right and left legs. So the movement for this is basically a T or a cross. You're going to jump forward, back, and side to side. Forward, back, side, side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. There's a workout for you. Uh, lower wad for time, and I'll post a picture on the group after. Bye. Bye, Carly. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>